Carolina Panthers are 2-0 after taking down the Saints 26-7 in Week 2. The, the Saints were the surprise team of Week 1, beating the Brakes off the Green Bay Packers 38-3. And yet, in Week 2, they were not nearly as good. But Carolina now 2-0 and and looking like they have a great start to the season. Joining me now from Locked on Panthers, Julian Council and Julian uh, this Carolina team with Sam Darnold, they happen to have a terrific uh, week two, the same week that Zach Wilson in New York has a terrible week two. So there is some great parallels there from a quarterback standpoint, but just from a, a Panthers standpoint, uh, what is the ceiling for this this Panthers team that has started off with a chance right now, at least to, to be a playoff team? Yeah, what's the numbers? 62.7% of teams that start off 2-0 and since like the year 2000 or whatever have made the playoffs. So you have to feel pretty good about Carolina's chances. I felt like coming into the season, looking at the beginning of their schedule, that they had a chance to actually start off 2-0, and if not 3-0, and with the Houston Texans coming up on Thursday. So I'm truly not surprised. If there was going to be a loss among those three games, it would have been against New Orleans on Sunday. But the Saints had the perfect storm of having to deal with Hurricane Ida and being relocated to Fort Worth and working at, at TCU. Yes, last week again against Packers was shocking to everyone involved. But then the COVID happened and they lost coaches and that had to mess up with their game planning. And then we saw the Jameis Winston that we had seen before on Sunday as the Panthers got after him. They certainly could be a playoff team. I thought that they would be far more improved this year than what they were last year with the addition of Sam Darnold who I still am skeptical of how good he's really going to be. But I figured with what Chris McCaffrey back healthy and the weapons he has around him and the defense, the defensive uh, additions of Hassan Reddick, AJ Boye, who's yet to play yet, uh, Daquan Jones, Morgan Fox, would allow this team to be a lot better than they were last year. So I still think they can be a playoff team. I'm just not necessarily sold right away because the schedule early on is very easy while it's pretty backloaded in the second half of the season. You mentioned the Sam Darnold part of this. That he he threw for over 300 yards against a defense that really bottled up Aaron Rodgers and the number one offense in the league in 2020 in that week one matchup that you mentioned. So what more do you potentially need to see from Sam Darnold to say, okay, I am sold on this Panthers team. Is it just, hey, I need to see two, three more weeks of this? Or, or, or what do you need, Julian? Yeah, let's think too. Marshawn Lattimore, who just got handed the bag last Sunday, did not play. C.J. Gardner-Johnson did not play. He did not play against a lot of Saints guys, but it's the NFL. There's, it's a league. It's a war of attrition, week in and week out. Some guys are not always going to be available. So I'm not going to take anything away from Sam Darnold. He has looked really good so far this season. He has also had two turnovers in each of the – one turnover last week, another turnover this week. So he's got to get rid of that. But we played this game last year with Teddy Bridgewater. After the first couple weeks of the season, people are like, oh, Teddy Bridgewater, obviously the perfect choice of Carolina. Then a couple months of the season, they're saying Teddy Bridgewater needs to be better or the Panthers are going to move on. Then that very following week, the Carolina Panthers need to find a new quarterback than Teddy Bridgewater. And for me, I was never about, oh, it's the quarterback series why the Panthers were no good last year. They had a rookie head coach. They were dealing with a COVID season, a new offensive coordinator, a defensive coordinator who's never been in the NFL as well. A very young team. It was not all on Teddy Bridgewater. And the same thing with the season starting so far. It's not all because of Sam Darnold. Christian McCaffrey being healthy right now, who missed 13 games last season, certainly helps. The defense having 10 sacks and 21 quarterback hits in the first two weeks certainly helps. I need to see Sam take care of the football, do what he keeps on doing, just play his, do his role, do his job, and that's all I need to see. But Sam Darnold does not need to be a superstar for the Carolina Panthers for me to be sold. I just need him to take care of the football for the team to continue to win. But don't get it twisted. The Carolina Panthers aren't winning solely because of Sam Darnold. It's been a complete total team effort through the first two weeks.